and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. Well, today's video, I just want to show you a little bit of, let's see, my Annie's kit and the two doll outfits that I finished. And let's see, what else do I have on my table? Oh, yes, some big twist um, yarn and stuff that I bought from Joann's. So guys, I know y'all probably have been hearing the rumor about Joann's. Well, I've been hearing it too. And um, I hope it's not true that they're, you know, but. I hope they can recover from whatever business issues that they're going through right now. And that, um, because I love Joann's, I love the big twist yarn and, um, I hope that they don't go out of business. So yeah, that'll be a sad day if they do. Uh, I, like I said, I love it. Tanya loves it. Tanya was like, what are we going to do if they go out? What are we going to do with our big twists? I'm like, well, I guess we'll have to go up there and buy everything they had, all the big twists they have, and then just go from there and work it out later. So anyway, um, yeah, that's the big news going, you know, all over YouTube is about Joann's. And so, um, yeah, anytime that I hear news, I will keep you guys updated. And if you hear news, uh, please keep me updated as well. All right, so the first thing I want to show, I guess I could show you the uh, two completed doll outfits. Here is one of them. Let's see, she's missing her purse. Oh my gosh, I must have dropped the purse somewhere. I found the purse. So here's her little purse. This is kind of like a little Easter dress type thing. And I finished the 14.5 inch doll. Here is hers. And let's see if I can get her little purse. Her little purse is so cute. Look at there. So, um, here they are. They're all dressed for Easter Sunday. Look at that. So, if you did not know that I create um, 18 and 14 half-inch doll clothes crochet patterns, please go to my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link in the description box below. And I just want to say thank you guys for all of you that have been purchasing my patterns lately and purchasing my flash drive. I really, truly appreciate that. And um, it just helps, keeps motivating me to create, keep creating more and getting those patterns out there for you guys. Uh, as you know, I started out with 18 inch doll clothes, moved on into Welly Wishers, and now I'm actually doing home decor and clothes, wearables and stuff. <laughs> So, um, who knows where this cro uh, crochet designing journey is going to take me. I've been in uh, a few magazines now, and it's very exciting. And um, I just want to say thank you to you guys for enjoying what I do and what I create. So, anyway, I just want to give a big shout out to you guys. All right, so the other thing is I want to show you is I did get my Annie's kit, and I like the new bag that they're coming in. Uh, so let's see what this one is. All right, I love this one. This is a lovely lace shawl. Very nice. And it comes in crochet and knit. So there's the crochet version. Um, let's see what the knit version. Ooh, the knit's pretty too. There's the knit version right there. So, um... Annie's, I just want to say thank you. Look at this yarn. It's a very pretty color, very neutral. I love it. So, um, Annie sends this to me. So, this is like a, I guess, a paid sponsorship thing, um, this part of showing Annie's. But one of the reasons that I do this with Annie's is because I love Annie's and I do believe in them. Yes, the prices are a little bit high, but um, to me, they're no more higher than um, any of the other kits that I've been looking at out there. And these, they actually give you a tutorial, a right and left-handed tutorial, and they're always in your account. account. They never go away. So if you lose this nice little glossy pamphlet with the patterns on it, the knit and the crochet version, you can always go to your account online and print them out. So um, that's just some of the reasons why I really believe in the Annie's. Plus, you go to their website, and they have tons of other stuff on there, too. That not just um, subscription type stuff, but they actually sell patterns, yarn, and supplies, and little bags, and, you know, everything. They have, um, I think they even have, like, online classes and stuff like that that you can join. So, oh, and then their kits aren't just crochet and knit. They have um, 
crafts and things like that and things for kids as well. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show that off because I do love Annie's. All right, guys, this is Joanne's. So I've got tons of yarn. All right, let me see what all I have in here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. The fun snuggle sacks. I thought my grandkids would love this. So it's not something that I'm going to do right at this time because one's a one year old and one is two and one is three. So they're a little too young right now. But if they sell this on Amazon, I will leave a link to it below. But the one that I really wanted was the Rocket. I mean, I like almost all of them, but I wanted the Rocket for the grand boys. And for the little girl, see, they're just so cute. Look at that. <laughs> um, like there's some for when they get a little older. I saw in here. See, isn't that just precious? Look at that. Just precious. But the one, I think, I think it may be the ice cream one that I was looking at. There's the pizza. Um, oh yeah, there's the, I guess the unicorn there. There's the dino. But anyway, um, the biggest one that I wanted, I guess it's the one that's on the front. Yeah, I guess it's the ice cream one that I wanted to do for Charlie Mae. So and then I have another green baby coming pretty soon. My husband's son's wife um, and he and him are pregnant with a little girl coming. So that means we're gonna have um, another child. Let's see, they they will be born in September. So we'll have a a grandchild under the age of one, a one year old, a two year old, and a three year old. <laughs> so wow. I guess they'll, they'll always be stacked like that. You know, one, two, three, and four. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then he still has two more kids that haven't had babies yet and aren't married. So <laughs> there's no telling how many grandkids we are actually going to end up with. <laughs> so I picked me up some of these. These are the colors that I want to do in my kitchen. You guys know that I uh, just recently got married. We just bought a home together. And so I don't really have that much decor in a lot of the rooms and stuff yet. I've had furniture, but not decor. So these are some of the yarns that I wanted to make some, um, I don't know, I guess maybe the kit, the dish towels and some washcloths, I guess. But um, I think that's all. I bought these while they were on sale. These colors, that's the colors I want in my kitchen. So that's it. So I bought those. Um, this one is Ecru. They're, they were on sale, like really good price. I think like maybe two forty nine dollars or something like that. It's sugar and cream, the super size. So there's a lot in there. All right, so I bought this. This is pretty. It's big twist. This is lilac. I bought another white one. And I bought a, a varsity yellow. And let's see, I bought two of this sage green look. It's just called sage, so... Um, and this is another thing Tanya and I have been complaining about. Their labels aren't sticking. It's like, come on, guys. We have to go and pull out our tape for that. But um, this is the sage color. Very pretty. So the last one I bought is this jean color look. And I plan on making a cardigan with this. Yep. Got it all drawn out and everything. Got my pattern or my stitch figured out. Not the stitch count or anything, but the stitch I want to use. There you go. I've got that all figured out. But it's 100% acrylic and it's denim blue. And it's a medium four weight yarn. I think it's about 380 yards in this thing. Yep, 380 yards. So I got three of these. I figured that would be enough because it's a summer cardigan. So I want it to be kind of long. And it will have uh, two front panels and a back panel. And I may put sleeves on it. But I want it long in length. And I want the hose to be like about that big. So there you go. That's my plan for it. All right, guys, uh, that was my Joann's haul. So let me go ahead and end this video with our Buy Still Waters. Hope I don't fub it up like I did last time. <laughs> okay, the mother of all hugs, but the helper, comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, standby, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, 
in my place to represent me and act on my behalf, he will teach you all things and he will help you remember everything that I have told you. That's John 14, 26. When life goes raw and your eyes have begun that twitching thing, how do you comfort yourself? Maybe a hug, a scoop of gelato with chocolate sauce, a bouquet of fresh cut roses, a walk in the sunshine, some good belly laughs over a favorite comedy movie, a lavender scented bubble bath. Mm, I love that. Chicken and dumplings. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. A latte with a dear friend. Mm -hmm. Reading a page-turning novel or even diving to a batch of warm clothes straight out of the dryer. Oh, yes. Comfy comforts. But sometimes even all those delight-filled goodies won't be enough to calm us and sustain us. When it comes to serious comfort, we need the mother of all hugs. We need the Holy Spirit, the comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, standby. We need all of the above. When Jesus left this earth, he promised not to leave us as orphans, but to send the Holy Spirit. We can rely on his help. Always remember and take heart. In this long, lonesome world, we are never, ever alone. Holy Spirit, please comfort me, strengthen me, encourage me, teach me, and guide me in all I do. Amen. Wow, just beautiful. All right, guys, that's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life and to have fun, and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.